Welcome back. Today we're going to be adding a USB 2.0 header into this Alienware Aurora R13 computer, which doesn't originally come with one. This FedSmart PCIe card is not only going to give us two extra USB ports on the back, but it's also going to allow us to have a USB 3.0 header and then we're going to be using this USB 3.0 to two USB 2.0 connections. Let's get into it. To start off, we're gonna go ahead and put these two pieces together. That way when we're inside the computer, we don't accidentally damage this or this card by trying to force it in sideways while it's already in the slot. So let's go ahead and add this in. Go ahead and find where that one little hole doesn't have one. And we, right here we don't have an extra pin, so it's going to go in just like this. I guess also you could look at the little nub to know exactly where to go. I'm glad we decided to go ahead and do this before because that was actually a pretty hard connection that could have actually mess something up with the force it took to put them together. Let's go ahead and jump into the computer case. To get started, we're gonna go ahead and remove the graphics card to give us a little more work area and also a better view. So we're gonna start by taking out this little support. It's got a little tab on the right side. Lift it up and it should slide out just like that. We'll go ahead and disconnect our power cables. And again, this is totally optional. You do not have to take the graphics card out to get this PCI card in, but it really just gives you a good work area with a lot of open space. Put these to the side for now. All right, next, take that. And then we need to go ahead and release the graphics card tab, just like that. And it should just go ahead and come out. We got an extra PCIe cover, but we can put that back in, no problem. Yep. All right, now we have a little more work area and you guys can see it better. Let's go ahead and add in our PCIe card for our USB. I would have liked to use the bottom one, but as you saw before, there's not a lot of room in between the graphics card and the power supply. So I don't want to cut off any extra airflow than there already is. So we're gonna be using this front one. Make sure that's well seated. And now we can finally hook up our CPU pump with the original cord that came with it now that we actually have a USB header to use. So now we should be able to control fan and pump speed for our cooler. And on this particular CPU cooler, the plug-in is right here. So we'll go ahead and make that connection. And to note, this is not a high-end graphics card at all. The RX 6700 XT is really a mid-tier card. So anything more powerful with a bigger uh, heat dissipator and all that is going to take up even more room so you're really not going to have room to put this down below so you really are going to have to use the PCI slot in the top luckily on the new R15s they moved it around to give the graphics cards a little more room for the fans to grab air just like that and I'm not sure how I'm going to route this yet but let's go ahead and make the connection using our pins as a guide. So we want our non-pin one to go right there. Go ahead and plug that on. And now we have successfully plugged in our CPU cooler with a USB header that this computer did not have originally. So I'm gonna figure out how I want these wires to go and we'll be right back. I know it's ugly, but I don't have the clear side panel on my computer, so as long as the cord's not going to get sucked into a fan somewhere, I really don't care. Alright, let's go ahead and 
get the graphics card back in and we'll get this thing powered on and see if we can control the pump. issues or anything like that. Let's go ahead and test it out. As you can see, there was no BIOS issues whatsoever. Everything booted up normally. Let's go ahead and now we'll test to see if we can see the pump in the IQ software. Here's our lighting effects, our hardware lighting, our cooling. We can change the fans, the pump speed. Well, that's a successful install of a USB header. Hopefully this helps a lot of people, whether they're adding some type of RGB hardware or changing out the original AIO cooler for an aftermarket 120 or even a 240 as possible now, while still being able to control fan and pump speed. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.